So I just woke up and I'm gonna show you guys the snow that is outside, but don't you worry. Mama's gonna start a fire on this nice New York snow day. So here is the view <laughs> just from our back deck. And we'll take a look at, we have about 10 inches so far. If you guys could see through the front window, it is, uh, I don't think you guys can see. It's really coming down. It is beautiful, I have to say. It is beautiful. And here we are. Come on guys, let's go, come on. Come on Buttercup, we made a little path for you. Come on. Come on, go play. Go play Misha. <laughs> Misha loves the look at you butternut you have a little path go play go go and she's a little she's not as um <laughs> she's not as happy out here today are you cold maybe mommy should have put a different sweater on you yeah here no no Oh God, she just ran back in. What, honey? She wants no part. I know she wants no part. <laughs> Butter, come on. Once we have a little path for you, that's more than just that. <laughs> I know. It is warm. Mom, look at Misha. You having fun, Misha Moo? Go have fun with your big sissy. Go. Go, Buttercup. You could do it. Yeah, maybe a little bit later. We're going to have to make a bigger pair. Oh, look, she's got the one paw up. When she has the one paw up, she's not quite, she's not quite sure. <laughs> Misha. Misha Mo. You having fun? Yeah, you are. All right. All right, you wanna go in, butternut? I know, this isn't your cup of tea. We're gonna go start a fire now, okay? Let's go start a fire. Come on, Mish. Wanna come in? Okay. Oh, the little one's already in. Started making my chicken broth. I think I went over with you guys how I make it with chicken, whole, entire vegetables, and then I take everything out and I uh, strain the, as we call it, brodo. And then I'm going to make it with these. With tortellini. And I think I have some garlic. I I have some garlic knots. Yeah. Maybe some garlic knots too to go with it. So we'll have a nice little dinner. After we're done shoveling <laughs> all day. It's starting to boil, but I usually um, let this simmer for three hours. I put everything in whole. Believe it or not, the skin of the onion gives it that darker broth color, and I take everything out, everything. And we eat the meat separately, so it's like a consomme. It is so nice and rich and delicious, and all the vitamins are actually in the brodo. Um, and this, this spoon, my nonna Jo, whittled this. Um, the last time I was in Italy, I, I took this <laughs> from, from my from my aunt's cupboard because my Nona Jo whittled this, my grandfather, and um, she, did, she doesn't know I took it. I stuck it in my, in my suitcase. So I've been using this because it's a little memory of my grandfather. Anyway, so I can't wait to have this in three hours. I also promised my daughter, since her college classes were canceled, that we would make some brownies later. So maybe we'll do that as well. As you guys can see, the fire has begun. And the dogs actually, they love it. They do, they do love the fire. So this is what we're gonna do today. My couch is all ready for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna do a Timu and Dollar Tree haul. 
wait for my soup, then I'll make some brownies with my daughter, and, and this is gonna be our Tuesday relaxing snow day. So come join us. So hello everyone. It is a snowy Tuesday. There's no school. Everyone's basically home today unless they have to go to work. Um, but so I decided in my intro, I was going to show everybody the snow and the dogs and my fire and my chicken soup, which is really not chicken soup. It's brodo, but that's a debate that I've been having with my colleagues for years. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm in my jammies. So I thought maybe you guys would like to enjoy my husband's home for a little bit. So you might be hearing a few ballads in the background on his piano. And that's about it. So I actually have two hauls and I have another one on the way. So if it does arrive before the end of this video, then I will stick it at the end. If not, then I'll do a part two because I got nothing else to do today but keep my fire going. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my dollar, my dollar tree haul and then I will get to my tea move haul. So I'm gonna start with this calendar. I love it because this calendar actually goes with the theme in my kitchen. We all know that I have chickens and I have a very like farm kind of, I don't know, theme going on in here. And um, so these are like the months that you could see on the back. And let me just open this up. I have a calendar already that I purchased from Timu that has stickers and I have it on the side of the fridge. But I thought this one would look good just in the kitchen somewhere. I don't know where, but it says locally grown. Take this out. And we start with, oh wait. We have January, which we're obviously done with. February, isn't that pretty? This is March. April, I like that one. That's the one that's on the cover. May, just making sure I don't skip any. June, all the Geminis out there, and part of May. And here is July. <laughs> we love prosciutto in this family, and it's, uh, I believe the prosciutto is from the hind leg. Um, we always uh, used to go to Arthur Avenue and get the whole big thing. My father would slice it. But in Italy, my uh, that's where it comes from, prosciutto di Parma. And um, we um, have uh, the feast of the prosciutto di Parma. And we try and get there in August for it. I digress. So I'm going to be putting this <laughs> somewhere in the kitchen. Okay. Then I got this book. And I like to have books for decoration. I take the jackets off, of course, you know, because I like how it looks. And then I place them around the, the house. But I also like to have them for my reading pleasure. So when I'm on the plane going back and forth, down south or to Italy, I have a lot of time to kill and I don't have Wi-Fi on the plane. And I love criminal type of um, cold case books. Um, I don't like fiction. I just, I'm not into that type. I don't like fiction, love stories, any of that. Fifty Shades of Grey. I, 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 that just doesn't, I need something that happened and I want to see the process in which they were able to discover it and, and, and work through the whole investigation. So that's why I like shows like documentaries on Netflix and stuff like that. So I found this Unmasked, My Life Solving American Cold Cases, Paul Holtz. So I thought this would be a good, a good, um, a good read for me. So I got that. I always like to get these because I, Neosporin, like my kids between Vix and Neosporin, I've always had them lathered up in it for whatever reason. So I like to get this one. I think that the triple antibiotic may not be as much in this one, but when I compare this to Neosporin, it comes pretty, pretty darn close. So um, I always get this and I put this in our first aid. Actually, I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna go into the first aid kit immediately. Um, I need correction tape. 
at work. I bought a ton of this through Timu, so I'm waiting for it to come. But in the meantime, I just bought this. I don't like the liquid because it, it dries out. Oh, okay, I have, I have three bags out for delivery. Four. <laughs> I'm reading this as it comes in, so I'm kind of excited for that. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be a part two. Don't know when though, at some point today. So this is, this is for work. And I like this better than the liquid because it always dries out. But sometimes with this, I break it. I just, I haven't quite mastered the technique on how to use these things. So this is gonna go to work. I am the stipper, the stipper. I am the sticker queen. I love to put stickers on my students' work of all different types, and they like to put it on the back of their Chromebooks or they save them. So I got some cupcake stickers. They really didn't have a big selection. I got these horses, which I've purchased in the past. And I have my dinosaur ones. So, excited about that. Also going to work. Pencil sharpeners. We don't have these in the house. This is not going to work. This is going to stay here. We do not own a pencil sharpener. I think that maybe when the kids were small, we had pencil sharpeners, but this is definitely a good purchase, so I'm glad I got it. And you get two, so. Advil for my pocketbook. I always seem to have a headache at work. Gee, I don't know why. <laughs> but always good to have on hand, always. I got this bubbly bubble face mask, and it looks really interesting because I've never had a bubble face mask before. And this looks kind of, uh, it has the hyaluronic, am I saying that right, acid? And I believe it's supposed to help you look young again. So maybe it'll help me here, here, here. Maybe I need something to help me here, but I don't know. But anyway, so I got that, that's, that's for here. Then I found, let me just take it here. I found these, this was by the, um, these were $5, but I like these better than the, dollar 25 towels because these are definitely thicker and I like these because I use these not in my kitchen but I use these in my bathroom downstairs and they look pretty so I match it up with another pair of white hand towels and I thought this would look nice and my bathroom is kind of like a gray black and they're nice and thick so I like these also, I got this. I tell you guys all the time, we like to play card games and we like to play cards. So I thought this was so cute to keep score in. And it has like, I'm, I'm not gonna buy the refillable paper, but I like the rings. So I'll keep this by my cards, my deck of cards. We like to play Rummy 500. Is it Rummy 500? Yeah, that's, that's the game. That's our game. Then I also purchased this, made by Pons, made by Pons, and it is a anti-marks for natural, for natural color, beauty cream, normal to dry, perfect contour complex. And it says to, I, Apply a pea-sized amount on cleansed face for best results every morning. So maybe this will make me look 20 again. I don't know. I don't do anything. I don't I don't wear any anti-aging stuff. I should do like my mother did with the oil of Olay. But I don't I don't do Botox. I don't do dermabrasion or and, and I know that people do and I, I have some people at work that oh they look great they look fabulous but I am such a hypochondriac I am so scared about getting something like fillers or Botox because I have so many um, strikes against me my family um, we have a tendency of we have a gene for certain diseases so I am just not going to uh, give any disease a fighting chance. So if it's not natural, I'm not using it. Let's see what this looks like and what it smells like. And maybe, maybe it will work. For $1.25, can you imagine if this works better than 
any of the other stuff that's more expensive out there. So this is what the tube looks like. And you put a pea-sized amount, pea-sized amount. Smells like ponds. So maybe if I put, I have a little makeup on. I have a lot of makeup on, what am I kidding? But I don't know, maybe before I apply my makeup in the morning. So happy I got that. And the last thing I got, which I was pretty shocked about, I found these eyelashes there. Now I love the eyelashes from Timu. You get so many. But this are, this, these are kind of the, these are kind of the kind. These are sort of like the ones I get. And it comes with, I don't know what that is. Is that an eyeliner or a sponge? Mm, one's tacky, apply lash along here. Let me see, let me open this up because, let's see. This is so sharp, so sharp. I think my daughter's still sleeping. The minute she heard her classes were canceled. That was it. That was it for her. All right, so you get a pair like this, and you also get, oh, okay, so it's an eyeliner. Or, ooh, and then it has the smudging side. Nice, look at that. I like it. I should have got more of these. This is definitely, definitely something I like. So I, I got that. So that was it for my dollar, my dollar tree haul. Now I'm going to show you my Timu haul, which is not that big, but I got a pair of slippers. I look at me. <laughs> I did not take my scrunchie out. This is how I, uh, how I came out of the bed this morning. I got some eye makeup. And a little bit of all right so the first thing I have is this oh I'm so glad this came I'm gonna put this over there you see where that candle is because I love tea lights and I also like the battery operated tea lights and I thought this was nice for Valentine's Day or any time actually so this is really a nice size look at this I really like this so you know what, I'm gonna put it over there. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna move anything around. But I'm gonna put my three tea lights or my battery operated tea lights, but I have a ton of tea lights that I purchased from, I don't know where. I think I found them in Clarence at Michael's once. I have like 48 still, but um, this is really very pretty. Very nice. Oh, the sanders are going by. All right, next up another pair of slippers. So I had a pair of slippers and I gave them to Misha to play with. And she doesn't. She just likes to, retrievers like to get things and bring them to you. And she loves to take slippers. So I gave her a pair of cheap slippers I got from Timu. I threw one out because I didn't want anyone thinking that they could wear them because they're all full of old slop and saliva from her. And she, all she does is take it out of her toy basket and brings it everywhere. When someone gets home, she brings it. When she goes outside, she brings it, but she also brings it back in. So I got these because these, they are so cozy. So I have learned to keep my slippers on high shelves, um, upstairs, on the staircase, because she doesn't do the steps. Oh, these, these are probably the most comfortable slippers that I have purchased so far on Timu. These are really nice. They're orange, yes, who cares? They're for indoors. All right, what else did I get? Oh, <laughs> I got these again. I purchased these in my last order. I guess I liked them so much I wanted another pair. I'm wearing the blue gel ones and they stay on forever. And yes, someone had commented, can you reuse them? Yes. Are they more money? Yes. They range from three to five and sometimes even more than that. But I get the ones that are like $3. Sometimes you get them for $2.62 and you can reuse them. They come off really easy. I don't know why they come off really easily. Not like you by mistake, but if you're trying to take them off, they come off really nicely. 
and no residue underneath. I can't explain it, so you can reuse them. So I got these. I'm gonna just take everything out. This. It says Kiki Mood. I don't know. Let's see. Buttercup was not having it today. She just was not feeling the cold weather today. Oh, this is different. Okay, this is the color number two. And it kind of looks like it spins. It looks like a piece of marble. And let me see, one side is the lip gloss. Yeah, this is my color. And the other side is, oh, wait a minute, hold on. If, if you turn that, I'm a little confused. Well, maybe if I turn this one away. But if I turn this, that comes down. I'm confused, maybe that's all it is, is lip gloss. Maybe that's not supposed to turn. Okay, maybe that's just supposed to give you the color. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what, so this part, it looks like a lipstick, okay? And it says that. And then this part, you turn, but if you try turning this part and holding that part down, it still comes out, like nothing happens. All right, so it's a lip gloss and it's my favorite color and this turns and we don't know why and it's nice. These, I have the next haul that's out for delivery. One of the four is old jewelry. I am so super excited. <gasps> these are so pretty. Oh, these are like a, a boho sheet type of, hold on, I need to find something to put this behind. Okay, so if you guys can see, yeah, my dog is snoring. My dog is snoring. Okay, you see these? Aren't those pretty? Oh, these are nice. I don't have anything with yellow. And I like the bronze look. Oh, I, I one of uh, one of you guys commented that I should probably stick with purse charms and stuff like that. And I think I will, because that's what I love making. It takes me forever. I spend a ton of money. But I think I'm going to finally decide to take the leap and just charge what my time is worth. Because I just can't keep charging people what I spend on the material and then maybe add a dollar because it takes me hours to make them. So maybe there's people out there that will want to spend a little extra for handmade purse charms. And oh, I'm going to show you guys one of the ones I made. But look how pretty. And I'm going to make seashell ones too for the summer. All right. What else? Okay. Then I got these. These are two of something. Oh, I also promised someone I would show a little uh, cameo of Stella. She's upstairs with Christina. They like to snuggle together. <laughs> and since it's a snowy day, that's what they're doing. But this reminds me of Stella because I got two of these. These are cat-shaped, cat-shaped lip glosses. Look at that. So this one is the black cat. And of course, I'm gonna have to smell this. Doesn't smell like anything. And it's a clear, it's clear. Hmm, goes on pretty. I mean, it's like, um. there's that. And then I think this one is the white one. And it doesn't really say what it is except lip gloss. So if you're into cats and you like lipstick cases and you like lip gloss, it is a win, win, win. So let's see what this, oops, let's see what this one. Oh, this one has like a yellow hue to it. Maybe these are color changing and I'm not aware of it. I don't know, there's no light, there's no, well actually the one that I put on first has a pinkish hue. 
Hmm. I don't know. But these are nice. I like them. So now I have three lip glosses. Keep doing this. I keep doing it, but I don't care. Okay, what else? Then I got this. I don't need that. I got a pack of three and I could only find one. Oh, this is a palette. And I just bought two more. Oh, this is pretty. It's called Anna Rose. I love this color, that color, that color, that color, that color, that color, that color. I'm never going into those, but I should try. And this, um, is there a piece of tape that's preventing it from opening? Here we go. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty colors. I like to try the smoky one because sometimes, yeah, this, this looks pretty. It's not, um, it has a nice pigment. When I wear, it's, I like smoky eyes. Sometimes it, like little pieces go here. Then I look like I have a black eye, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this one. So, and it's small enough you can keep in your makeup case. Okay. And the last, I got this. <laughs> oh, this is cozy. All right, I like this material. Crazy, I prefer the term hilariously unstable. I love it. I wear the most unique shirts to the gym. And you know, like I think people are checking me out. They're not, they're reading my shirts and that's okay. That's okay. So there's that. Okay, so here's the haul, but there's more to come today. So I'm hoping everyone has a wonderful and glorious Tuesday. If you're at work and you're coming home to watch this, stay tuned because there will be more. Maybe I'll do my hair next time around. Take care.